Welcome back to Brothers Comics. I'm Nick, and today we're going to be talking about Marvel Infinity Comics. Now, I've done a few reviews on the Marvel Unlimited app. Uh, it was done a couple of weeks ago, and then like three or four days after doing that, they announced a brand new, all new, all different uh, Marvel Unlimited app where they introduced new function changes and something called Infinity Comics. Now, I did do a follow up to that. So there are two review videos out there if you want to go check those out. But as promised in those videos, I'm going to be doing a review on Infinity Comics. And I want to talk about what are Infinity Comics? Are they actually any good or not? And then my thoughts on if if Marvel's going to continue those in my, my mind being a avenue for content for us. Now, what exactly are Infinity Comics? Infinity Comics are basically a infinity scrolling. They're a vertical digital comic book versus reading left to right, they are a vertical scroll. Now this kind of goes back to Webtoon and I don't know if anybody else has actually done anything similar to that or not before Webtoon, but I know Webtoon, the vertical scrolling comics are huge. I mean, absolutely massive. We saw earlier in the year, DC Comics decided to team up with Webtoon and they actually just put out their first Webtoon DC comic uh, Batman Family Adventure, something like that. I did a review on that as well, if you want to check that out. But it is a very interesting format. And earlier this year, whenever I started checking out some of the webtoons, once DC Comics announced their uh, new platform, it was my first exposure to the infinite scroll or the vertical scrolling comic book. And I said in one of my videos, I absolutely love the format of that. It, it does so well on a cell phone. Uh, iPad, it does okay, but I think it is really just a solid way to read comic books uh, utilizing your, your cell phone. And, you know, the panel sizes are great. And with a good artist, they've taken advantage of the scrolling aspect of it. So you might see a comic panel last, I, not pages, but maybe three or four scrolls. And there's a lot of humor that can be done with that. And we'll talk about that in a moment but that is essentially what it is. And so you will see here, and I'll throw up some examples while I'm talking. As an example, an Xfinity Unlimited comic number one, I think that's the title, I've read them all, but you can see kind of the example here, and I'll put it up on screen, of them utilizing that vertical scroll aspect and just the ability to use that to tell a story. It kind of reminds me of a widespread, you might see on a page or a traditional comic book, like a, a two page spread, very similar in the sense of utilizing the best space, and quite frankly, I I do enjoy the format of the comic book being presented in this way. Uh, it's, it's been good, I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed it. So that's at the core of what Infinity Comics are. Now, I do love the format on the cell phone, but for this video purpose, I'm gonna use my iPad as a screen share to show you kind of all the Infinity Comics, and you also get an idea of some of the ones I've read so far. Are they any good? Are these comics any good? And we'll kind of talk about some of the ones I've read right off the bat. Uh, the X-Men Unlimited Infinity comic. It's great. It really is great. Jonathan Hickman's writing it. It tells a funny story. There's a lot of humor in it. Uh, Wolverine is, is written very well, and they do a great job of taking advantage of the humor in, in uh, this, this story with the vertical scrolling. And I think the perfect example of that is in issue number two of this, where Wolverine is um, interrogating, we'll say, uh, one of the folks there. And as you can see here, as I'm scrolling through and I'm doing this live real time and I'm sharing it on the screen here, uh, it's it's uh, Wolverine going, where are they? And I know obviously that's like, I'm thinking of Batman voice while I'm reading this and it's X-Men and that's Wolverine, but I can't help it. But he does a hilarious job here, uh, Jonathan Hickman and, and the creative team here, uh, utilizing that vertical scroll of really capitalizing on that and it create, creates this hilarious i don't know moment i guess you know because you never know what you're going to get right when you're turning pages you kind of see it all at one time here it's kind of just you know panel scroll a little bit then you get the new panel so it's quite humorous and you're just waiting okay when does it when is it going to end when is it going to end and it does and it's hilarious and then he does another great job of showing some more hilarity but also pro scene progression i guess we could say uh, also an issue too, I think is another great example of this, where he's kind of falling down this uh, elevator shaft, I guess maybe, and you're scrolling, empty screen, empty screen. Oh, there's Wolverine again, empty, you know, empty elevator. Oh, there's Wolverine again. 
and each time it's a, like a pleasant surprise what's happening until you get to the very bottom and you know he's dropped there at the end so i think that's an excellent use of of the vertical scroll and something you you could do um in a traditional comic book format but uh, it just you know like i said you could have a big spread but you're not going to get that same ability that you would using this vertical scroll feature which again uh, i've already said i'm a fan of now so far there's like you know maybe 30 or so comics infinity scroll comics on here so far uh, i've really been enjoying the giant size little marvels uh, those are written by scotty young and he's not doing the art but his writing is hilarious and those are truly all ages as a you know nearly 30 year old man i enjoyed the heck out of them they made me laugh i literally at one point was laughing out loud uh, i think it's something a seven-year-old would enjoy um, or a you know a comic collector that just really enjoys or a comic reader that just enjoys funny stories absolutely hilarious and again scotty young sense of humor is pretty good um the captain america uh infinity scroll uh quite frankly i didn't think it was good at all uh it felt like the writers just putting a lot of their politics and and again i'm not a huge fan of politics and comics in general as a whole i mean i turn on the tv you open your phone they're there i don't want to sit there and read about your thoughts or your opinions or or regardless of where you stand on anything and in, in politics that's just me personally and i know comics have a long history in politics and that's fine i just don't want to read them right now i i would rather read uh giant size little marvel infinity comics and laugh or the x-men and wolverine beating some dude's face in that's the escapism i'm looking for in comics not somebody's political beliefs then there's something funny it's it's jeff i read that one it is very humorous with no <laughs> words at all so kelly thompson actually wrote that one um so it was pretty good there i've only read the first one i know there's a couple more but um it was <laughs> again humorous uh shang chi i read the first one didn't really interest me but then we're getting into things like amazing fantasy i read that one that one was very dark and gritty but did interest me quite as well they do a great job storytelling with these um and then of course you get into the um the last few here on the screen i'm showing uh those are origins and i think that's such a cool thing they did they basically did a one issue retelling of origins i read quite a few uh venom moon knight um spider-man i read black panther but it was on my phone so there i don't know what's happening but that's maybe a bug they're not really talking uh what i read, have read on my phone versus my ipad's not really communicating well and i read a couple of other ones um but they're really really good to be honest with you um just a quick origin like the venom one was great the spider-man one was great i think i think it's a good storytelling uh avenue and, and that brings me to my next point I, I think as long as they continue down the road of you know the x-men storylines they're doing on here and i think the origins are fantastic expand those out um uh, the humorous hilarity the slice of life type things that you see a lot on on webtoon i think if they continue down this avenue i think it will be successful and i think people respond very well as long as they continue utilizing that that vertical scrolling to really enhance the story tell the story and not try to push um you know people's political opinions and stuff but that's just my thoughts overall uh, comic books as a whole but i did i enjoyed it i am enjoying these so much it, they're very quick read but an enjoyable read so you know maybe you have a five ten minute car ride you could sit and scroll through and read some of these it's it's great escapism i guess i would say and the format as a whole i do genuinely love so give them a chance check it out and i i do think quite frankly that marvel comics will continue pushing this avenue webtoon has been too successful with it uh dc partnering with webtoon now that is uh, a big deal quite frankly and then i think marvel instead of trying to partner with somebody like webtoon or something like that they're going to try to push it on their own and i think they have a great platform to do so in the unlimited app and i'm really really excited about kind of where where this is going to go because i think it's it's all all new all different guys let me know what you think have you read these what are your thoughts you guys are the best part of two brothers comics like subscribe share it out give us give us some thoughts down in the comments you know we're trying to grow help us grow i'm trying to help you guys provide some information and some thoughts and some entertainment help us grow a little bit collect your way